Hey guys, welcome to the YouTube channel. Pace Morby here. I'm one of the hosts of Triple Digit Flip on A&E. That show airs every Saturday, 12 p.m. Eastern time. And if you guys don't have cable, you can always watch it on Hulu. In this video, we are going to explain to you how amazing mobile home parks can be on seller finance, utilizing creative finance. So the question is, can I buy a mobile home park without cash, credit, or credentials? And the answer is yes. My student, Tommy Clark, comes in to one of my weekly Zooms with my students and asked me a great question about a mobile home park he had just recently locked up utilizing seller finance. And the answer that I give him in this video, he says, oh my gosh, I didn't even think of that. Guys, this is why having a mentor is so incredibly important is because you might be going through the path of getting deals, watching YouTube videos, reading books, going to seminars, but what happens when you run into a very specific problem and you need a very specific answer? That is what I give Tommy Clark in this YouTube video and I hope you enjoy. Please, that if at any point during this video you get enough value to leave me a comment, give us a subscribe or a thumbs up, I would appreciate it. And we'll see you in the next video. What's up, man? How's it going? What up, dog? So it's a mobile home park in Alabama. So it's seller finance is 15 units. Okay. Um, only seven of the 15 are income producing right now. Seller wants 240, 10% down at 8% for 30 years. That's a really high, warm. that's a really high interest rate. Yeah, I know. That's that's like the only thing that he wanted out of it though. So so why are the other ones not income producing? Because they're vacant, they're empty. There's no units. Oh, the lots are empty. Right, right. Got it. So okay, it's cool. All, it's all separate, septic tank, power, water. Um so really Tommy, uh, let me let me work, let me I'm gonna break down this deal for you real quick, okay? All right. Because I want you to think about the the buyer, the end buyer, and keep them in mind on this. Okay, so let's talk let's talk through that. If I buy this deal from you, it's two hundred forty thousand dollars, right? Right. Okay, and I'm going to put down twenty four thousand dollars to the seller. Okay, what's my payment for the remaining balance? I got a remaining balance of two hundred sixteen thousand. No, I'm sorry, two hundred yeah, two hundred sixteen thousand. At eight percent, what's my payment? I believe it's fifteen eighty. Okay, fifteen eighty. That does that include um, PITI or just PI? Just PI. Okay, so we got to add taxes and insurance. Let's add another two hundred bucks on that. So I'm at seventeen hundred and eighty bucks a month. Okay, so if I'm at seventeen hundred and eighty dollars a month, that's my starting point. Okay, that's what my I, I have income and income does not mean profit, but that's my income, right? How much is my, I'm sorry, not my income. That's my payment. I apologize, guys. That's my payment. What is my income with the units as it is right now? 3,300. Okay, 3,300. That's how it is right now. Yes. Okay, great. And only five of the seven are park owned. The other two are just lot rents. Got it. Okay. So my plan is to, to get it filled up and then sell or finance out the units. And are then you going to keep it for yourself? Oh, the, the land. Yeah. But I don't want to have to manage it. So are you buying this deal yourself? Uh, yeah, I'm looking for, for an investor on it, a private money lender. Got it. Okay, cool. And then we don't need to talk about it. You got different set of questions. What What are your questions? Um. Yeah, I mean, I just wanted to know what you thought about the deal mostly, and then uh, like how you would go about doing the seller seller finance and the units. Like, would you sell them off as you moved them in, or would you seller finance the ones that are there first, or how would you? I would never even put mob. I would never even put trailers on the on your dirt. I would just have people bring in their tra their trailers themselves. Don't go buy trailers. Let people bring their own trailers in there. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So just go after the lot rent and not even just, worry about. Yeah, just go out. You don't. Yeah, why? Why go through the hassle of going and buy a mobile home? And then seller financing the mobile home just to fill a spot. Just go find people to fill the spot with their own trade. Like a lot of my mobile home parks, I've got a multiple people that just have their trailers, not their trailers, but their RVs. And they'll come live in there for two, three months at a time on their RVs with their truck. 
right? So you're going to get a lot of people who just come in there and fill up those spots where you don't have to go buy mobile homes to fill in the, those dirt spots. You can just have people with their RVs and their trucks fill in those spots. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. Okay. So for me, let's go, let's go through this deal again. It, I was going to say, yeah, it looks like a pretty decent deal. Even if, um, even if you are going to try and assign this, it looks like a little decent deal because how many lots are empty right now? Eight. And, okay. So, and then you're probably going to be able to lot rent these out at what? 300 bucks a month. Maybe that might be a little high. Okay. So 250. probably 250. Yeah. Okay. So eight at 250 is 2000, right? So my potential income is $5,300. Right. Right. After I get those lots filled. Okay. That's great. Now, if that's my potential income is 5,300, what is my total cost? My total cost is, let's go through it. You got $24,000 for your seller, the down payment. Okay. Mm -hmm. Going back to the entry fee here. Two, does he have any arrears or liens? I already know the answer is no. Okay, so that's zero. Why are people saying congratulations? Somebody says, Congr I think because they're like, you're hanging out in my house or something. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Um, okay. So that's two, three is my assignment fee, which you, are you direct to seller on this? Yes. Okay. So you're $0 here. You got closing costs, which are going to be probably like, let's say 3000 bucks. Then you've got renovations. Let's just say hypothetically, you got $10,000 in miscellaneous stuff. That's going to come up over the next couple of months just to be safe. Six, you got a couple months of payments and stuff. So let's just say another 5,000 bucks to be safe here. And then seven, to find those tenants over the next couple of months, you're probably going to spend some marketing dollars, about 2,000 bucks. Okay, so my total cost to get into this deal, you don't need any of this right now, but you are going to need this to fully get it up to that $5,300. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, really all you need right now is 24,000 plus the 3,000, right? So you need 27 grand. So if you're at $27,000 and you find a lender at, let's say 10% interest that comes in here with you, your payment with that lender is gonna be or even 12%. Let's say, let's hike it up to 12% because you're new and let's say they don't, they're like, yeah, well, I gotta have a little bit more return. They're gonna have a $270 payment that comes to them every month. Um, that's the private lender. And then you've got your $1,780 that goes to your, um, your uh, seller finance note, right? So you're basically, and then let's add another miscellaneous like $1,000 on here for like park maintenance, landscape, whatever, just miscellaneous stuff. And let's just call it, and I know there's engineers in here losing their mind the way I just zoomed through math. But let's say, let's just call it $3,500. I'll add a, like three, $400 in buffer. So your cost to run and own this park is $3,500. And your income on the deal, deal is $5,300. I like the deal. I would do that deal. If I lived in your area, I would do that deal. You're going to make $1,800 a month net on this deal. And you're going to be able to pay down this guy's loan over time. And maybe even at some point refinance him out at like a lower interest rate, but even at 8% interest, you still have the ability to make $1,800 net. Right. So, um, what would you do with the five that are currently park owned? Would you sell those? Yeah, I would sell those on seller finance. I'd get rid of them off your, uh, your books, get rid of them. So, um, so I understand like I need to use an RMLO to do that with since there's five, right? No. Not necessarily. Mm -hmm. Okay. Would you these sell aren't, these aren't houses, bro? These are cars. Right. Right. This, these, those things are not real. That's not real estate. Those are, those are trailers. Those are vehicles. 
would you hold the notes yourself if it was your deal or would you sell the notes? I'd hold the notes. What's going to happen is if they default, guess what you have in your paperwork? You have the right to take those mobiles back and they're already on your property, right? right. So the last thing you want to do is have somebody hold a note on a piece on a vehicle that is on your property. Right. You should hold the note because they're on your property. Therefore, you want to control those.